Hi, my name is Carlos and I'm going to show you how to use the EMF tester. So we use this tester to measure electromagnetic fields, right? Okay, to start with, uh, we have four buttons here and each of the buttons have two functions. Let's say the short press uh, function and the long press. So we have four buttons here. Each of them have a short press and a long press function. For example, to turn the meter on, you need to do a long press to the power button and it will be ready, right? The same button has another function if you just uh, press it short when it's turned on and it is uh, either enabling or disabling the sound of the meter. We'll see later how to use this function. Next, on the left, we have the MG or UT, well, it's micro T uh, selections, selection of units. So you can either measure in milligas or in micro teslas. That, uh, they are the units to measure electromagnetic fields, right? So uh, you choose the one you prefer. So depending on what you want to measure, you will know which one to choose, right? Uh, for example, 10 milligauss are one micro tesla. Okay, the second function of this button, uh, the long function, is that if you leave it pressed, you can change on the settings with these two buttons, either it goes up or down, it's the limit in which you want the sensor to start, to start beeping. Remember we were saying about the sound here? You can enable or disable the sound of this alert. The sensor will start beeping once we uh, go over the level we set on the tester. So for example, we will leave it at 0.7 micro teslas. Uh, or a little bit lower even, 0.5. Okay, so once it's set, we just press this again and it will be set, right? Okay, so the long, um, the long function of this button, turn the light on or off if we are in conditions in which we need some backlight in order to see the reading, right? And the short function of this will be having three functions here. The first is that whenever we're measuring something, uh, the numbers are going to start changing and measuring, right? If we want to freeze this uh, you know, reading, we just press this button once and it will be hold. And if we press it uh, for the second time, it will just register the max we've got, the max measurement we've got. So last but not least is the temperature button in which we can change the units in, we, in which we measure the temperature. It can either be in Fahrenheit or in Celsius. And the long uh, press of this button will uh, allow us to turn on or off the function of timer in which, for example, if it's on, we just, if we forget and we leave our device uh, turned on, it won't consume, consume any battery after 10 minutes. It will automatically turn off. But if we turn it off, it will continue to measure and uh, show some readings until we turn it off manually with the power button. And that's pretty much it. So I think there's no better way to learn to use something that actually using it, right? So let's run some tests on our tester. Um, for example, right now we have it in milligas, uh, the beeping sound on, and our alert will be at 0.5 uh, micro teslas, which is five gas, okay? Let's, let's just use this button to change to micro teslas. So we have the same measurement. Right now it is not showing any measurement because we don't have anything to measure right now. 
So, for example, let's just turn this thing on. It will generate an electromagnetic field now because it's powered on and we will, we will be able to measure it. Once that we have it here, for example, we can do several, several things. Uh, remember, we can mute it. We can do that if you find it annoying. Uh, just with this button, it's really easy. Or if we want to change to milligust, we can do it too while measuring. The other two functions in which we have hold, it will just maintain the lecture we have just now. And if we use the max one, when I scan it several times, and then put the, you know, the power in a higher level, it will just get the its highest it, its highest lecture that is 171.7 microteslas for this little fan. Now we can try and measure something else like this little dancing flower, right? And it goes over our limit that we set of 0.5 microteslas. So that's how we can know what's the the magnitude of the field the electronic things are our electronic stuff is making and yeah just use it to measure whatever you want at home so you know which of this um, can be harmful or not to you and well that's pretty much it and your enjoy your product and thanks